The rested and undefeated Green Bay Packers are on the road this week, heading to Tampa Bay to take on the 3-2 Buccaneers, who lost a major piece of their defensive puzzle when they lost Vita Vea from the middle of their defensive front. Take a look. Right leg. Yeah. 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 The right ankle. He was one of the key reasons the Buccaneers have been almost impossible to run on, their D allowing a measly 2.7 yards per carry on the year. That offensive line factory, Daniels, Bars blocking. Will they be able to keep it up without him in this one? The Packers' run game has proven to be one of the best in the game so far. Here he comes, Aaron Jones, right up the middle. Aaron Jones has averaged 5.8 yards per carry and has punched it in four times on the ground. Here's Jones, staying on his feet. Bea was also part of the reason the Buccaneers have had so much success getting to the QB. Balls is sacked. That is Vita Vea. The Bucks have racked up 17 sacks, putting them near the top in QB takedowns. Falls in trouble, falls out. The Packers, though, have done a great job protecting their QB, only allowing three sacks on the season. Hard count, pretty close. Did they get him? There is a flag down. And that, of course, has allowed Aaron Rodgers to work his magic. Rodgers has a man wide open, caught. Rodgers' play so far has been outstanding. 13 TDs, no picks, a completion percentage over 70, over eight yards per pass attempt, over 300 passing yards per game. All of it equals MVP type season. Blitz picked up, Rodgers has his man, the tight end, Tanya for the touchdown. Him and his mates are facing a Bucks pass D that's allowed a respectable 91.2 rating and have picked off six passes already. On first down, Robinson, that's in the air and picks back the other way. But they've allowed a pretty high 70.9 completion percentage and they haven't faced anyone as hot as Rodgers. End zone. But the Packers' pass D has also allowed a super high completion rate at 72.2. And it's another grab. And they've allowed a passer rating of 107.2 and are allowing over eight yards per attempt. And not the case. Is Matt Ryan loading up across the field? And it's Hayden Hurst. And that would seem to bode well for that other QB who wears number 12. Here is Evans, and they get the touchdown anyway. Tom Brady may have spaced out at the end of last week's game, but he's thrown 12 TDs against four picks, is throwing for a healthy 8.4 yards per attempt, and has a rating over 95. Vaughn back in the ball game. Brady steps up, throws a duck, and it's caught by Brakes. And like Rodgers, he's been doing it with a mishmash of wideouts, and despite that, is still throwing for 275 yards a game. Pax is caught by Gronkowski. But the Bucks are going to have to protect him better than they did last week. Brady is taken down. Khalil Mack. The Bears getting to TB12 three times, along with plenty of QB knockdowns and pressures. Somebody in the big plays tonight. Big pressure. Down goes Brady. And while Green Bay may have trouble stopping the passing game, they are not having trouble getting to the QB. Ryan going to be taken down at the 20. Green Bay has 12 sacks in four games. Zadarius Smith with five of them. Pressure right up the middle. Football came out. And maybe that's why you'll see a heavy workload for Ronald Jones, who is looking better with each passing week. Here is Jones. He is to the 47 and more. Spinning down. 31. Jones has back-to-back 100-plus -back rush yard games, last week rushing for over six yards a pop. Tempo on the next possession. Here's Jones gets 10-plus. And the pack has been just as susceptible against the run as they are against the pass. Here's Gurley. Staying on his feet and being helped into the end zone. Green Bay allowing 4.8 yards per carry on the year. Gurley. Trying to bounce it outside, gets the perfect block from Matt Ryan. So, does this all spell a shootout to you? It's the rubber match between Rodgers and Brady. They're one and one against each other in their careers. So, who are you picking? Analysis, predictions, in the comments section. Our predictions across the bottom of the screen. Atlanta rushing for Time for Rodgers to float one. Easy catch and touchdown. <laughs> Gronkowski reaching to get it, full head of steam. First down and more as he takes it inside the 30. 